Hi, I am Zara Owens, and I'm a writer at Dream Spinner Press. When Dan Savage and Terry Miller posted their It Gets Better video, I was pretty moved. Um, judging by all the other videos that followed, I was not alone. In any case, um, their video inspired me to write two stories. The first one was my Christmas story for 2010, and it was called You Can't Choose Your Family. Once that was published, um, I got a lot of nice feedback, and I understood that um, the two guys in the first story deserved to have the story written about how they got together, and this became a true It Gets Better story. So, as this is published now, the proceeds for that will go to Dan and Terry's It Gets Better project aiming at preventing teen suicides caused by bullying. Now, watching all those videos is one thing, writing the stories is another, but I figured I owed people my story, my It Gets Better video. So here goes. <laughs> like a lot of teenagers uh, in high school, I was bullied. I was ostracized. I was humiliated on a regular basis, um, probably because I was the fat girl, probably because I was a smart girl, and the combination of those two turned out to be lethal. Um, who knew that you could be um, fat and stupid, or you could be smart and pretty, but a combination of those two was not allowed. Um, so they gave me a pretty hard time, um, and instead of um, really feeling bad about it, of course I did, but I quietly sat in the corner and worked on my grades and kept going and went to college after that. And Although a lot of the videos go like, well, you know, high school is hard and once you leave high school you're fine, that was not my experience. Um, even after high school and college and starting work life, you still bump into bullies. They're still out there. The only difference is that you grow up and you start to see that, you know, as a teenager, there are two colors. There's white and there's black. But as you grow up, you start seeing that in between those colors, white and black, there's a whole range of grays. And those grays are what make it possible for you to put things in perspective. Um, and it fleshes out your life, but it doesn't come overnight. It takes time to discover the nuances of gray in between those two extreme colors of black and white. So the biggest gift you can give yourself is time. We live in this world of instant gratification. Um, you want something, you get it. You go online, buy it, and it's instantly delivered. Well, life doesn't work that way, sadly. Life takes time. You, t you need time to grow into yourself. To understand that, yeah, there are bullies out there, but you get something else. You start finding your strength inside of you. You start realizing that, you know, there may be bullies out there, but there are also great people. And... You have to open yourself up to encounter those absolutely amazing people that make you feel good about yourself and that make you feel like you can handle the world. But you can't let your happiness rely on other people. Your unhappiness on the bullies and your happiness on the good people you meet. No, because you're the only one who can make yourself happy. And it's in here. It's inside your heart. 
but you have to find yourself. And it took me forever. When I was 30, I was still clueless. When I was 35, it was starting to dawn on me that I could do, you know, more with my life than what I was doing. Um, and I look around me and I see other people finding their inner strength. I see people go, oh, I love it, you know, when I can come home at night and create this lovely meal for my family and see them enjoy it. You know, I know people who love weeding their garden. Um, I know people who are great teachers and um, who can inspire other people and you know, who can uh, create passion in other people. Those three things are not really for me. <laughs> but I found through the course of the years, and this has taken time, I found out that I like to write. And again, this takes time. Um, I've been writing for 10 years if not more. Um, you really have to give yourself the time to find your talent. And with talent, I don't mean something that'll make you famous. Very few people become famous discovering their talent. Um, but I discovered that I like to write. And yeah, I'm published. Um, so people often ask me, you know, even if you weren't published, would you still write? And I barely have to think about it. I say, yeah, I'll still write because I don't write for my publisher and I don't write for my readers even. Sorry, readers. I write for me. I write because of the fact that I can create a story and create characters that are in my mind, put them in a book and um, have them make sense, hopefully that bit makes me feel good about myself. That bit makes me feel accomplished. Um, it gives me some self-esteem and it makes me want to get up in the morning and it makes me want to still crawl behind my computer after a whole day's work because I want to write because I have these stories in my head and I want to put them on paper and I can do this. This is my talent. So I'm glad that I didn't do anything desperate when I was 15 or 16 and really in the dumps. I'm glad that I gave myself that time to grow into myself and become the person I am now. And yes, I am a writer. And this makes me feel good. So give yourself that precious gift. Allow yourself the time to find inner strength and then life will become so much better so if you even after my story still want to um, help this project help Dan and Terry's It Gets Better project buy my story because all the proceeds for that will go to It Gets Better thank you